Now this topic is very much the same. It's problem type two, except all the rest of the problems are usually gonna be the type that we just finished in the last video, where you have to identify what is being squared, write your coefficients on the outside, what does not have the square, and then your constant equal to zero. So here, this is the giveaway. That should go inside the parentheses so that there's no power on the outside. And then you just need to verify that if you stick that into the other parentheses, that this math actually works out to give you that term. And it does, because when you have power raised to a power, you're supposed to multiply these together. And if you multiply one third times two, you end up with two thirds as it should be. So this is the correct form, which means my y value is going to be what's inside the parentheses. And then if I substitute that, I end up with this equation here, which can be solved, but we will need to um, use the AC method if that's the method that you're using. If you're using trial and error, then you would need to use that one. And so then here I'm going to factor this. Now, that means I have two equations to solve. And then we have to put back what Y represents. And then if you're trying to solve this, remember what a fraction X means. It means the cube root of X to the one. And the same thing for this, the cube root of X to the one. So how do you get rid of a cube root? You cube both sides. So that will make that house go away. You end up with X to the one or just X. Two thirds cubed is two thirds times two thirds, which gives me four ninths, which cannot be reduced. And then over here on this side, you end up with X by itself and then negative one. Oh, you do not end up with four ninths. It's two thirds times two thirds times two thirds, which is actually going to give me eight over 27, which cannot be reduced. Here you have negative one times negative one times negative one, which results in negative one. So in Alex, you have two solutions. 8 over 27 and negative 1. And then here, because these are cubed roots, as if they were square roots, I might need to check my answers. But these are cubed roots, so the signs will all play out and I don't need to check those solutions. Now let's look at this one. They're telling us it's in the quadratic form, so we need to figure out what is going to go inside these parentheses? Again, your middle term is the giveaway. So if I put x to the 1 half here, will these multiply to give me a power of 1? They do. So we're going to let y equal what's inside those parentheses. So the expression becomes this, and the equation is equal to 0. I can factor this. and then I'll get my two solutions for Y. But again, we have to plug back in what Y represents. So then this is a square root of X to the one power. And the square root of X equal to this. And so we're gonna power both sides. So we get x equal to negative 9 times negative 9 is 81, and x 2 times 2 is 4. Now here we're doing the square root, right? The 1 half power represents the square root, so in this case we may need to check our answers. So let's see, 81 plus 7, 81 raised to the 1 half. minus 18. This leads me to get 126, which is not correct. 
So this is not a solution. However, let's test four. This one does check out to give me zero. So there's one solution that you would write in Alex, which is four. One more example of this type. So again, can you write it in this form? Here's my giveaway, so x to the negative one, and if I plug that in the parentheses, it does come out to give me a negative two exponent. So y is equal to x to the negative one. So this is my new equation. And if I try to solve that, um, we can factor it like that. So I will get 2y equal to negative 1, y equal to 3, y equal to negative 1 half. Plug back in what y represents. Remember what a negative exponent represents. It means that that term will have to go in the denominator and then it becomes positive. So then if I cross multiply here, I will get negative x equal to two. If I cross multiply here, I get three x equal to one. So then I get x equal to negative two. And here I get x equal to one third. And so we have two solutions here, negative two and one third. Now the next example is going to get into um, more information about quadratics. And I think I'm gonna save this one for the next video. So I'm gonna stop here.